Hey, what's up guys? Um, today is November 9th. The United States is still here, surprisingly, even though Trump won. So, Donald J. Trump is the 45th president of the United States. So, I'll get my run in right now. It's a little late because I stayed up until like 3 in the morning trying to figure out who would win the presidential election. They definitely had me glued to the screen. <laughs> but, I think they're like burning some around here because I don't know if you guys can tell, but it's like really easy. Doing like a lot of burning. We've had a lot of uh, wildfires around here, so maybe there's maybe it's patrol burning. So yeah, I'm gonna get my run started. Catch you with you guys later. Ah, uh, I'm at that stop point in my run. Stop at familiar landmark. This cool pond I found on day one of my running. I did a little better. I was able to run a mile without stopping. Uh, I think I ran it at like a 7:30 pace. It was burning really bad. I was getting close to that one mile and. I wanted to stop, and I was like, I can do this. Just, it's just one mile. Stepping stone, stepping stone. So I'm definitely getting there. The weather helps out a little bit. You know, it's not so hot today. I'm sweating, but you know, it's probably in the 70s. Not normal weather for Georgia in November, but... Oh, one thing I'm super excited about this past election, that people have spoken. I think it was like four states legalized marijuana, and like two was for medical. I mean, that is awesome. I think we're pretty close to half the country has some kind of marijuana regulation, whether it be medical or recreational. People are finally waking up. I think people just finally realize that it's not as bad. It's a safer alternative than alcohol, and it's, it's a way to bring more revenue to our states. So, back to the second half of my run. Oh man, I think I need a haircut. <laughs> the wind does numbers to my hair. Look at that. So uh, actually, a new hairstyle. It's, it's a 2017 high fashion. These guys haven't seen it yet. You'll see it in your next GQ magazine. You know, there's nothing like running for a while and then having to go up three flights of stairs. Alright, <clears throat> so I got freshened up, ate some lunch after running. I think I'm gonna go over to the local mall. I wanted to go to check out Barnes & Noble and pick up a few books. But before that, I need to take old Wiley out. So we're gonna do that real quick before I head out to the mall. Can we go outside? Huh? Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> Are you ready, Wiley? Oh, my hair is crazy now. It's super windy outside right now. So I'm out taking Wiley out. I like to stop on the benches and kind of just look out. Sometimes Wiley likes to sit on the bench too. Oh, Wiley. What are you doing? Oh my god! She's doing so crazy! And the worst part about it is that there's construction right across the road and the wind's bringing all the dirt over here. It's kind of getting in my eyes. Oh yeah, there's my dad. Looks like we found my dad. What you doing? Ah! So you got your tag? Yeah, I know. So I made it to the mall, so I'm gonna go to Barnes and Noble real quick and look some books and see if I can find a good read. at the mall they set up this huge Christmas tree. Never been here when they started assembling it. It's kind of cool. Cool store. It's a new store in the mall. We got Batman. Harley Quinn. 
I also got something for my sister. I got her this awesome Pokemon scarf. It's pretty neat. I think the scarf will look better on my sister. What do you guys think? Another place, just like the one I was just at. They even copied their storefront. It's Batman and Harley again. If you guys couldn't tell already, but that's my girlfriend. Model 4 Invicta. Sunglasses are sick. I love that reflection. A little fact, so I bought these sunglasses at a sunglass hut, and I think I paid like maybe $5. So as long as there's a sunglass hut around, I can get them clean so you can't tell. Brand new sunglasses now. Interesting furniture place, it's called a Love Sack. Yeah, that's right, Love Sack. Foot Locker. Finish line. They really do have the world's best cheese steaks, so I'm definitely getting one right now. Whoever cooked my uh, Philly cheesesteak put like a bag of salt on the whole sandwich. I'm not even kidding. I mean, I've had Charlie's before and I love their cheesesteaks, but I mean, I feel like there's too much salt in that. All right, leaving the mall. Um, there's this one place over here called Thin Lizzie's. My friend works there, so let see if he's there. Check him out real quick, see what he's up to. David wasn't at Tin Lizzie's, so I just had one beer and ended up leaving. God, it looks so awesome. It's gonna look so cool when it's finished. I actually go to his house and hang out with him for a few hours. This person was here when I first arrived, and she's just been sitting in her car reading a book. Honey, do you want to go to the mall? Yeah. Over here, do you want to go shopping? No, I'm just gonna sit here and read a book in my car. So I just got back from my friend David's house, back at the apartment. Wiley was here to like say what's up. Um, my sister's trying on her scarf that I got her. Her what? <laughs> but yeah, a light. I think. My room's messy. If you put this on the internet, I swear to God. Yeah, it's going on the internet. <laughs> Ending the day with old Wiley. This one him. <laughs> Just finished uploading most of my footage onto my computer, so I'm gonna start editing that. Uh, so I went to the bookstore today and I picked up a new book. How to win friends and influence people. The only book you'll need to lead you to success. Uh, apparently this book's been around since the Great Depression, so Mr. Dale Carnegie. I did some research before I bought the book and there's a lot of good ideas in here. Yeah, and if you're watching this video and you liked what you saw or what I did today, just make sure to drop a like or Subscribe if you want. There'll be more content. I'm trying to do daily content. And you'll get to see more of Wiley. He's the best part. Alright, peace guys.